Hey, what's going on? Um, in this video, I'm going to take a look at um, Active Campaigns Conversations feature. So, I believe this is available at every plan level. And basically, you come into this menu here and you can um, add it into your plan. Uh, or if you have a resold account, you can get with your reseller and they can do it for you. And the setup on it was uh, was fairly simple. And I'll show you kind of what I, I set this up today on my site. Um, replaced a mini chat um, growth tool, which was the, the website messenger piece. Uh, mini chat overall is obviously much more powerful than this, but for this specific reason, actually, uh, for this specific function, I actually like this. So when you come over to the conversations view, once you set it up, it'll just show you open conversations. But most of the work's actually done down here in the settings area. Okay. So you come over here to conversations. And first things first, you will need to make sure that you have site tracking set up, okay? And you need to make sure that the website or the funnel that you want it on is uh, whitelisted right here. And then you have to actually come over here and, and click turn it on as well because it's going to default like this. So turn that on, okay? Um, then when you come into this conversations menu, there's a, a four-step uh, four kind of uh, setup here. So you turn it on, um, notifications, I had to actually adjust my browser settings to make this one work. Um, these two were easy to toggle on, so that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, and then you actually uh, can put this website uh, piece on, so I already have site tracking code on my site. Um, you get to pick a headline, and I added this to kind of show some personality. Ask me any questions or just say hello, and this is actually what it looks like on the site. So in the lower right hand corner, I had the mini chat tool, but here's the active campaign um, conversations tool, right? The cool thing about this, if you have active campaign is think about this. If somebody messages you and you're not around, um, they can actually leave a message and join your email list and um, go right into your account. So it's just more activity uh, that you can track with an active campaign. And uh, since I use that for my CRM anyway, it's kind of nice to have a, uh, um, have that go in, into there automatically. So that's what that looks like there. And you can minimize it kind of for mobile as well. Um, all right. So you can describe, give it a description of whatever you like, pop in a logo there, throw in your branding covers, and then pick simple left or right. Um, so you can enable an email with just a default subject line from name. And then this, uh, email forwarding address. I didn't mess with that yet, but that was fine for now. So it's pretty simple to set up. Um, I like the um, idea that if somebody in your account reaches out to you through this, obviously all that'll be tracked in the, the recent activity, which is really nice. Um, auto reply, you can pop this on. This just comes with email address as normal for the capture and you have just a couple options here. So I just threw full name on there. I wish it would let you split it up, first name, that kind of thing. But fairly basic in that regard. And then a little follow-up message as well. So that's what it would look like if you weren't able to respond, which is cool. And then you actually um, buy it by the seat. So I want to say you can do up to 20 seats, which is a lot. And a seat is basically a person with the, the agent access, right? If you reply and take action... Um, so it's like for, for my company, I'll just use one. And if I want to give some of my team access, whatever, they can just use my account. That keeps a little cheaper. I think the list price for conversations right now is like nine bucks a month. Um, as a reseller, I can get it uh, just a little bit cheaper. So um, very inexpensive, um, easy to set up. Um, I didn't have to do anything within my website because I already had the, the site tracking on. So... As soon as I turned this stuff on and went and refreshed my page, it was there, bam, right away, which is nice. And I have it set up to follow you basically to any page on the site, which is nice. And I think a lot of them are that way, the chat supports. Uh, like I said, it does appear on mobile as well. So it should pop up here if I give the page a second to load. Just make sure, yep, so there you go. And it's nice that it lets you pick the brand colors and stuff as well. So, so far, it's... Um, it's super simple. Um, it should work well. Uh, I like the little quick view, like so many of the other ones have, like even many chat has kind of a conversation view. So 
we'll see what happens, but it gives me another active campaign tool where I can get people right into my, my, um, CRM. And one thing I didn't even think about, I wonder if you can trigger, and I think you can actually, I wonder if you can trigger an automation just based on somebody submitting through the conversation chat. I'm going to take a quick peek at the triggers and see. So I know there's a lot you can do with this. I know you can start triggers uh, for people. Let's see here. That ignore it, or there's some different things you can do with it for sure. Start from scratch. See what we got for options here. Here's what's really sad. It was on. I was actually on the beta testing team for this, and I've never played with it till today. Oops. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I know you can do some can pretty sure you can do some conditional logic that has to do with the um has to do with the conversations. Let's see if I'm right. Taking a quick peek here. I haven't looked at any of this. Yep. Conversations. Wait, that said conversions. Oops. Um, I know there's something about conversations. Maybe. I'm probably just missing it somewhere. I know there's some stuff you can do with it somewhere. I just, for the life of me, off the top of my head, cannot think clearly enough right now to figure it out. But uh, you know what's funny? I haven't even tested it. Let's test it right now and see what. See if I can get this thing to do something. So I'm hitting high. I'm supposed to have some kind of a notification. Tells me somebody's talking to me. Let's see if anything popped up. Uh, let's see. We can minimize this junk. Okay. No kind of notification. Okay. So I'll, I'll, it waits a second, then it prompts me. Actually, let me do this. Let me pop in the back in here and come over here. Or maybe I have to enter name and email first. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So it just gives me a generic name right now. Welcome messages. So it looks like there's some more stuff I can do here. I haven't even set up yet. Um, let's see if I can take back. Go back to here. Yep, so you're able to talk through there, which is nice. Curious to know where it puts this email. Full name. So if somebody does that, I know that they basically uh, get added to your list right away. Yep, it updated me right away. There you go. So it tags me, and that's not a tag I created, so that's a built-in tag. So what you can do, here's what you can do. So as soon as somebody gets that tag, you can trigger an automation with that tag, right? Email, web chat. So it tells you how they're talking to you, which is cool. Interesting. Yeah, I can do a lot with that. If it, gives, if it creates a tag, we can do all kinds of fun stuff with that. So pretty cool. Um, and then you can just close this out. See what that looks like on this end. See if anything happens. Saved responses. You could fire a saved response to them if you wanted. That's kind of a weird option. I don't have any set up. It's basically like a canned email template. I know some clients that use those. Most don't even know they exist in Active Campaign. So super interesting. Um, and then you can complete it from this end, I guess. I'm curious. I'm going to pop into contacts and see what that looks like in the recent activity.
Yeah, so you could dead where my mind goes, you could definitely create a um you could definitely create a automation that fires or something if you're not able to get back with somebody. Do some cool things. So it gives me that chat. Recent activity. Is it gonna give me anything? Really? Oh, conversations it gives me what else I can view it. I wonder why it wouldn't show in recent activity. I think that would show there. Maybe if I refresh it, it'll give me something. Hmm. Let me get this out of the way. So you can view the conversation. It's interesting they archive it there. That's helpful. You know what you could do? You could just create a notification for that. So when somebody does that, if you're not getting notified otherwise, you could just send an email notification and say, hey, a chat's been opened. And then once you see their contact deal, uh, details, you could log back into the account and check it out just like this. Figure out, is this person taken care of or whatever. So fairly interesting. Um, for the money, I definitely think it's worth it. It's worth checking out. Uh, it's nice to have a chat feature on the website anyway, right? So if you already use Active Campaign, why the heck not? Why the heck not? So cool. Hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions about Active Campaign conversations, let me know. I'd love to uh, see what you're thinking and see if I can help you with that. And yeah, that's all I've got. See you soon.